Bright Leaf hot dogs were preferred over Oscar Mayer in a taste test among 150 New Yorkers. But mostly they're made, sold, and lovingly consumed primarily in North Carolina's coastal plain and the eastern half of the Piedmont, as they have been since 1941. It's just a cult-like um, following, and we've got great customers, you know, from, from, we actually sell from the Greensboro to the coast, but it's amazing what people grew up on as a child. I grew up here in Smithfield, and that's all I knew, there was a red, white leaf hot dog. I didn't know there was a brown hot dog until I went off to college. Most all hot dogs were red in years past. Brightleaf continues to color its franks red with a safe red dye because it's become sort of a trademark. But what else makes these particular hot dogs so popular? Our Brightleaf red hot dog is a truly old-fashioned hot dog. It's made the way people used to make hot dogs 25 or 30 years ago. It's made with beef and pork. Uh, beef gives it a little bit stronger flavor, the pork gives it a little bit of sweet flavor, but then it's got its, uh, its, its spices that kind of set it apart. Not to get too technical here, but Brightleaf hot dogs are skinless, which means that they're formed and pre-cooked in a temporary casing. It's formed with a cellulose casing, and when the product is cooked and chilled, we have to remove that cellulose, so all we do is run it through a Frank Skinner and skin the casing right off, and that's why it's called skinless. With no skin to get in the way, it's the meat of the hot dog that gets crispy when they're grilled or cooked in fat, which expert cooks say is the best way to cook them. Jones Cafe in Clayton is famous for the way it's been preparing Brightleaf hot dogs since 1958. Burr Jones is the third generation owner and chief cook. It's uh, a recipe my granddaddy came up with back in 58. Um, he mixes two or three different kinds of oil and water, and it's just something about that oil and water. I'm not sure what it is. It just makes some hot dogs good. I like to do a real slow simmer. Um, if you if they get in there and get boiling too much, the hot dogs are split and they get soft and they're really not good. You just if you keep it on a low simmer, you gotta have the right pop, you know, when, when you bite it. Generations of Brightleaf hot dog lovers haven't even insisted that the dogs be hot, including one who grew up to be Carolina Packers plant manager. My personal story with Brightleaf hot dogs is a little child that's going to my grandmother's house and she would have a bag in the refrigerator. My brother and I would start early in the morning. We'd tear a hole in the bag, rip the bag open, and start pulling the hot dogs out. And by the time for supper, all the hot dogs were gone and she was on me and my brother for eating those hot dogs up. You heard a reference to a bag. Brightleaf doesn't vacuum pack most of its hot dogs. It simply puts them in a plastic bag or box for quick delivery to grocery stores and restaurants. The Brightleaf hot dogs you see at the store are fresh. We deliver directly to the grocery stores. You know, we don't go through warehouses. We, we do through some food service companies, but most of our product is sold directly at the grocery store. We go directly to uh, what grocery store it is, we drop it off on a daily basis. Uh, we make it today, we pack it tomorrow, and deliver it the following day. Carolina Packers employees are both makers and consumers of Brightleaf hot dogs, and their product is visible wherever they go. Uh, not only do we make the product here, but we eat the product that we make. You can't go to any grocery store in, in this uh, area and not see our products here. Um, two-pound bags, one-pound bags, uh, whether it be Red Hots or hot dogs or smoked sausage or bologna, you're going to see these products and, and, and you're going to buy them. Folks who are traveling in Brightleaf's market area often call the company to find the location of the nearest retailer. And that isn't the limit of customized personal service by any means. We had so many folks calling in from across the country who grew up in Smithfield, grew up in eastern North Carolina, who couldn't get the product. We don't have an automatic ordering system. They call in here. We actually talk to the customer and, and place the order. We send it to them on a Wednesday or Thursday, and they get there by, by the weekend. And, and we're able to talk with them and find out where they're from. You know, and, and I enjoy that because I've actually talked to guys I went to school with. This is done all the way with mustard, onions, and chili, plus slaw, which is the way that I like it. Oh, you know, for something so simple, that is just wonderful. It's not like they just drop that hot dog into a pot of water. No, it has some, some real oil, some real fat involved in the cooking. 
and the balance between the slaw and the chili and the mustard and the onions and the bite of the hot dog itself, oh, I'm telling you, that's heaven.